Hi there, my name is Mai. I'm a pharmacy intern working with the pharmacy team at Sentara Lee. Today I'll be providing you your medication minute. So today I'll be talking about the antibiotic ceftriaxone. This medication is usually ordered to treat infections such as UTI, pneumonia, bacteremia, endocarditis, and several other indications. It is administered via IV and its dosing is dependent on indication, but typically dose ranges from 1 to 2 grams once daily. However, dosing can go up to 2 grams every 12 hours for more severe infections such as meningitis. A common side effect is redness at the injection site, usually associated when given intramuscularly. A more serious reaction would be anaphylaxis, presenting out of respiratory distress, hypoxia, and hypotension, upon which the medication should be immediately held and reaction reported to the MD. Another serious effect that could occur with all cephalosporins is Clostridium difficile associated diarrhea, or C. diff, which should also be reported to the provider. This can be an acute or chronic medication, with a treatment duration depending on the type of indication, and it's typically five to seven days. However, duration can extend up to two to four weeks for more severe infection. Fun fact about this medication is that it binds to calcium, forming an insoluble precipitate. Avoid administering ceftriaxone and IV calcium together. Instead, you can give one after the other while flushing in between administrations. Another fun fact is that the cross-reactivity is negligible between penicillins and third-generation cephalosporins like ceftriaxone. It only takes a minute to talk to your patients about their medications and when you're giving them. If you have any questions, please reach out to the pharmacy and we'd be happy to help. Thank you for helping the pharmacy be the medication stewards for our patients.